All righty, everybody. Our friend Ami Horowitz, he has another man on the street video. I can't wait to see what he did this time. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. I'm Ami Horowitz and I'm here in Woketown, USA to ask people why they think there's a higher level of obesity in the black community. Everything has to do with racism. Racism. I would call it institutional racism. Eating could be a coping mechanism. For, for racism? Yeah, if they feel bad. It's like depression based, so maybe the stress of um, racism maybe does contribute. And black people deal with racism every day, and that leads to bad food choices. Oh God, absolutely. Okay, so you'll notice that all the white people are like, yes, the black people are eating bad food because the black people are experiencing racism in American society. Now, if you ask them why white people are very fat, because there are a lot of fat white people, they would say it's personal choice, right? It's all the white people who are eating bad stuff because they're dumb hicks. Right? These are all upper class white liberals. So they'd be saying, oh, you know, the only fat people that I know are those hicks from the sticks. So probably it's because they're stupid and making bad food choices because they're white. But if it's people of color, then it's, well, it must be not that they are making personal choices that impact their diet. It must be because of widespread institutional racism. I wonder if black people feel the same way as white people. I have a feeling the answer is no. Just as upper class white liberals think that police are the worst thing for black communities and black people are like, no, nah, we kind of need the cops. I have a feeling that if Ami asks a bunch of black people the same question, their answers are not going to resemble the answers given by these upper crust white liberals. Education is a factor as well, um, which also ties into race, you know, like racism. They're not being educated as to what is good to eat, what is not good to eat. Yeah. Oh, they're ignorant. They're ignorant. And that's it. Yeah. So this, this lady thinks that it's because black people are, are stupid or something. It's not racist, though, when she says that they're too stupid to eat healthy food. That's not racist. She's, she's anti-racist, probably. Then you're not going to be able to choose the right things for you, especially if you don't know about them, too. There's a lot more in-depth stuff that uh, predominantly, like, a lot of white people are more in tune with. I don't know how to be healthy. See, I got some weed I'm trying to roll up. You stopped me at a bad time. Yeah. No problem. If you say individual responsibility, is that coming from a white privilege and white supremacy? 100%, yeah. They don't have any access to good food. Okay, I'm sorry. This is, a, yeah, so it's all these white people. They don't have any access to good food. And meanwhile, that lady's going to go trot over to Whole Foods. The baseline notion here that black people don't know what is healthy is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy and it's kind of racist. Like, I have small children and even they know what is healthy to eat and what is not healthy to eat. And I'm pretty sure that black people know what is healthy to eat and what is not healthy to eat. Yeah, like, you know, there's more McDonald's, there's all their supermarkets, it's all like Doritos and everything, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Do you think it's possible that Corp of America was looking to destroy the black community and therefore put a lot of this stuff in there? Um, I think um, definitely under some administrations, for sure. Okay, so under some administrations, I love that. Trump probably put the McDonald's in the, in the black community. So here's the problem. They've tried to put place, things like Whole Foods in black communities, and it turns out that the market just doesn't exist for it. A lot of people just don't want to buy stuff from there. It is true that healthy food is sometimes more expensive than unhealthy food, but it depends on the kind of healthy food that you're talking about. Right? Manufactured garbage, you know, stuff that is, that is just like heavily greased up French fries and a burger, that could be pretty cheap. But the truth is that a can of peas is also pretty cheap. Okay, so you can find healthy food at a low price. The notion that it is just a price differential that explains all of this is not true. There's a lot of personal decision making that, that is happening right here. And if you think that Whole Foods would avoid being in a black area if there are a lot of people who wanted to buy organic kale from Whole Foods, no, corporations are pretty profit driven. Do you think it's a conscious decision by corporate America to destroy the black community by making sure they have all these unhealthy choices? Yeah, I think it's possible. Could be. Could be like, uh, where, could be. Are, where Trader Joe's are, where like just bougie grocery stores are. They're all in white neighborhoods, all of them. Yeah, like there's no Whole Foods there. We're here in the heart of Harlem to find out if what we just heard is true. <laughs> Uh-oh. So, uh, yeah, there's a Whole Foods right in the middle of Harlem. Whoops. We'll get to more on this in just one second. First, how did you choose which internet provider to use? The sad thing is most of us really don't have much choice because ISPs do operate like monopolies in the regions they serve. They then use that monopoly power to take advantage of their customers. Data caps, streaming throttles, the list goes on and on. Worst of all, many ISPs log your internet activity and then sell that data on to other big tech companies or advertisers. To prevent ISPs from seeing my internet activity, I protect all my devices with ExpressVPN. So what is ExpressVPN? It's a simple app for your computer or smartphone. It encrypts all your network data, tunnels it through a secure VPN server so your ISP can't see any of your activity. Think about how much of your life is on the internet. Sadly, every site you visit, every video you watch, every message you send, it gets tracked by ISPs or other tech giants who can then sell that information for profit. 
That's the reason I recommend ExpressVPN as the best way to hide your online activity from your ISP. You download the app, you tap one button on the device, and you are now protected. I mean, look how easy. I just go over here, I access that ExpressVPN app. Right now it says, not connected, but, doink, now it's connected. And now all of my internet activity is private. ExpressVPN does all of this without slowing your connection. That's why it's rated the number one VPN service by both CNET and Wired. So stop handing over your personal data to ISPs and other tech giants who mine your activity and sell off your information. Protect yourself with the VPN I trust to keep me private online. Visit expressvpn.com slash Ben. Get three extra months for free. Is the obesity rate in the black community because of racism? I think it's because of probably what they eat. I mean, the way we eat. <laughs> I have a choice. I just think people need to watch their eating habits. It's also down to, you know, the individual in the household and what they learn from the family around them and what they see around them as well. It's like saying we don't know what we're doing half the time when we're making the choices we make. And some, in many instances, knowing the consequences in the long run. Okay, by the way, this guy for president right here. In fact, all of these people for president. <laughs> All the people that Ami is talking to who are like, yeah, you know, you got to make good individual choices if you don't want to be fat. This is why upper crust white progressives cannot run the country. They are terrible for the country. They are terrible for black people. They are terrible for white people. They are terrible for everything. People eat food and they like different food. Some people like that being on a diet. Some people like running. Some people don't. Individual choices. They said to me that saying that about black people is racist. It's like saying black people don't have free will. Black people don't have agency. Exactly. Like, that's just Isn't nonsense. that racist? That's a little bit to me, yes. It's very weird to hear to me personally. Yeah, that guy. That guy's great. I'm a fan. Slot open the Daily Wire for that guy whenever he wants it. They deal with racism so often in the day that they stress eat. What? <laughs> Does that not sound right to you? They're misinformed. <laughs> I love the reaction. It's all these white people like, black people are so stressed, they, they just have to sit home and eat Cheetos because they're so stressed. And this lady's like, what are you talking about? What? Huh? Yeah. The wokes, man. No one likes them. Now, if they put a big hamburger place and you keep going to it and you gain weight, they didn't make you go in there. That's what I'm looking at. Whose fault is that? That's the person that's going in there. Why are you blaming this guy that opened his business? I'm fat. I'm not as fat. What you want? Did you carry it well? Thank you. Appreciate that. I like that lady. She's like, yeah, I'm just going to own it. You know what? My decisions are my own. I like how I look. Deal. Good for her. I took it ownership of my weight and my weight gain. So you have to take ownership of your own health, your own weight. Y'all are doing some good stuff in Harlem. You feel me? I'm not a race issue. No, it's not. No, this, this plenty of fat is everywhere. So again, you'll notice that for the wokes, they're not solutions oriented. Nothing they do makes anybody's life better. Shouting about how Whole Foods is racist. And how about how corporations, because of Trump, are locating in black areas? That's helping no one. You know what helps people? Telling them that they ought to get control over their own weight. It is hard to think of anything that is more personal to you than your eating habits. You literally make that decision multiple times a day. I make that decision too. I try to keep myself in good shape. I work out a lot. But I'm disappointed in myself sometimes because I make bad dietary choices. I mean, literally yesterday, I started off the day, I had a coffee, I had like one egg, and I was like, oh, I'm doing great. And then lunch came, I went out to lunch with my wife and just blew it out with the carbs. That's my fault. Okay, and that's true for everyone. There is no more personal decision over which you have more choice in the United States than the kind of food that you eat. And trying to blame it on systemic racism or systemic poverty is really, really dumb. You do have to ask the question as to why white woke progressives think that they can speak for black people this way. And the answer really does go to something that Shelby Steele talked about a long time ago, which is that white progressives want to maintain control of the conversation. It's really about power for them. If they get to say that racism, not my racism, systemic racism, everybody else's racism is the problem. And then they can say that black people have no responsibility inside the system then it is not up to black people to fix their lives. And it's not even up to black people to fix the system. It's up to white woke liberals to fix the system. So they get to maintain the power by dissociating from all of these white institutions and then correcting them from the outside. So all these people are really claiming power. It's not about them being humble about their own race or about their impact on the world. It is about them dissociating from all these other bad institutions, demonstrating their own moral credit and credibility, and then being able to say, I want to control the system in order to fix it. That really is what it's about. Enjoyed reviewing Ami's latest video. Can't wait to see what he does next because he's crazy. I know what you're thinking. It's time to binge some more Ben Shapiro videos. Well, you are right. You should. But first, like and subscribe. Perfect. I'll see you in the next video.